Hi, and welcome to Two Minute Stats. I'm Dr. Kristen Kinsevich, and in this video, we're going to learn about the standard error of measurement. So SE stands for standard error, and you can see that in the title, and you may see this in articles as well, so you'll know what that refers to. And it's like a confidence interval for an individual score. So you imagine if you were to take a test several times, you probably wouldn't get the exact same score every time. There'd be a little bit of a range. And this range is the standard error of measurement. And so um, we will calculate this by um, finding the standard deviation um, for a person's scores. If they took it at least twice, then you would be able to have a, a standard deviation. And then you would multiply that by the square root of one minus the reliability. And so the reliability is a correlation of test and retest. So if you take the test and then you take the test again, there's a certain correlation, most likely. I mean, one would be a perfect correlation. And so um, in that case, right, plug in one to that formula, you would end up with a zero for your standard error because one minus one is zero and anything times zero is zero. So you wouldn't have any error. But if there was not a perfect correlation, let's say it was 0.9, then there would be some amount of error in the test. And so that would be the difference between, um, you know, when they took it and when they took it again, the correlation of those two um, re repeats of taking the test, that's your correlation statistic. And so um, you would plug that in to get an individual standard of standard error of measurement. And that would help you understand exactly kind of the range if they were to take it a whole number of times, what might, where might they fall? That's it. Thanks for watching.